primary school, you study one thing. Yeah. When you go to secondary school, you study much higher. When you go to university, higher. When you go to the postgraduate, much higher. When you go to the PhD, ultimate high, ultimate high, right? So these are the same same way you can think that God sent the messengers in different different time, different different place, in different different scenario. Yes. In Islam, we believe God sent Abraham, Adam, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, everyone, as what? As messengers and prophets. But it's the same that we believe. You know, even the names are the same. Abraham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we are saying. And in Islam, it's different than Christianity. Do you know why? I'm going to ask why. Yeah. That was next, my next question. Yeah. The difference between Islam and the Christianity is as follows. Yeah. One concept of God. In today's Christianity, they believe God is three person. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So let's count together. If you get the Father, who is God, how many God? One. If you get the Son, who is God, how many God? One. If you get the Holy Spirit, how many God? In total, how many God? You know, you talk like that, it's three, but yeah. Three. Yeah. But so, one, one God. Yeah. So if you say that God is manifesting in three person, which goes against the nature of God. Because a few minutes ago we discussed God can't have father or mother or children, you see? Yeah, but you know, <laughs> even if they say Son and uh, uh, Holy Spirit, they always say God is above of them. No, in Christian belief, yeah. in uh, Orthodox and the you know mainstream Christian belief, yeah. they're the co-equal and coexistence. That's what the Christian says. If you read the Christian doctrine, they will say the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, they are co-equal and coexistence. Yeah? So in Islam we are saying, no, Jesus, it doesn't make sense that God coming to the earth and dying for the sin and all of the things. Which thing makes sense? That God can forgive you without shedding the blood or God needs blood to forgive you. Which things make sense? Say again, what is the one? Look, in first concept, God can forgive you. You do the mistake, you say God, yeah God forgive me. Yeah, one. Second, God will say, no, I can't forgive you. You need to kill someone to forgive you. Does it make sense? No. no. Which one is better? First one. In Islam, we don't need any sacrifice to forgive, to get the forgiveness of God. In Christianity, Christians need blood of Jesus in order to forgive their sin, isn't it? So that's what the difference, that's the Islamic concept of God and the Christian's concept of God. Both are different. And in Islam, we accept all the previous prophets, like Moses, Abraham, Ishmael, David, J J J Jacob, and we don't reject Jesus. We accept Jesus as what? As prophet, Messiah, messenger. Yeah, as well we have as a Messiah. Excellent. So that's what the Islamic belief is. What things make sense to you? That Jesus was a messenger sent by God, did miracle, and do the old stuff and come back again. We'll come back again. First scenario. Second scenario, no. Jesus was God, come to the world, died for the sin. Which things make sense? The first, one. first one. Good, excellent. That's the concept of uh, you know, messengership and believe in Jesus in Islam, right? Secondly, we believe that's that if you want to become Muslim, you need to accept Jesus, you need to accept Moses, you need to accept Abraham, and accordingly, you need to accept Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and the final messenger. Okay. Does it make sense to you? Yeah. Yes. Does it make sense to you? Yeah, yeah. So would you accept this, the Prophet Muhammad Islam, is the last and the final messenger? Yes. yes. Would you accept Jesus was a messenger and prophet of God? Yeah. Not the son or Holy Spirit or daughter or anything? No. 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 Good. And you believe? God is one who is self-sufficient, independent, and He doesn't depend on anyone, no father, no mother, nothing, right? You believe one God. Okay. You believe one God, which is Tawheed. Tawheed means oneness of God. And you believe Risala, which means the messengership. Yes? God sent the messengers. And you believe the last and the final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes. Excellent point. Now we'll take the Shahada. Shahada means testifying your faith. The belief you have in your heart, to testify it in your lips and then act upon it. There's the three layer of, we call Iman, Iman means belief, right? 
You believe in something in your heart, you testify by lips, and then you react upon it. All right? All right. Are you ready to take shahada, inshallah? Yes? Say, Bismillah. Ashhadu Allah ilaha illa Allah wa ashhadu wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. Worthy of worship except Allah. And I believe Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and the final messenger of Allah. I also believe Jesus was a prophet, messenger, and Messiah from Allah. MashaAllah, I become Muslim. Allahu Akbar. It's, it's like the first step. And you, you open the door. Alhamdulillah. And once you become Muslim, you become Muslim, Alhamdulillah, now. And after becoming Muslim, your all sins are forgiven, Alhamdulillah. You're like a newborn baby, you see? So you, you now pray to God, only through God, connect Him directly. You don't need anyone else to media, as a mediator, right? You, don't, you, you commit the sin, you do some mistakes, say, Allah, forgive me. You see? He's, I'll try not do it again. Excellent point. Try to avoid all the sins. And the five pillars of Islam is you take the kalima, yeah? Believe. Ah, believe. Believe. You have the belief now. Second, you do the salah. Salah means the prayer, five times prayer. You know how Muslims do, yeah? You learn step by step. Then the zakah. Zakah means when you have the certain amount of money, right? Then you need to give the obligatory charity. Yes? 2.5 percent only. Yes? You'll do step by step. Yeah. Then the uh, hajj. Hajj means the once in your life you need to go to Mecca to perform the Hajj, yes, in Saudi. And we have the Saum, Siam. Siam means the you know fasting in Ramadan. Just a few days ago we were fasting for, for a month. You need to do this as well, inshallah. And you know, sister, that's the first step, inshallah. And uh, here is a prayer mat as well. You can open it up and it will instruct you how to pray. Yeah, here is a prayer mat, and here is the other literature as well. You know, that's the best day of your life because you connect yourself to your true God. You see? You see? Do you feel it? Yeah? Excellent. So, try to, you know, feel it in deep way and pray to Allah that Allah, that's my first day. I took your deen. Now, guide me further. Yeah? And learn step by step. Connect with the sister. What do you live? Do you live around or you will go back? Okay. So, I can give you a number of... Uh, as yeah, no problem. Of a sister from uh, East London Mosque. So you can go there, join the sister circle. They will teach you step by step how to do wudu and tahara, all the things. Yes? Yeah. All right. One second.